Welcome to the Science of Space channel. Today, we are going to talk about on a unique but most confused topic as you have known the title, Black Hole vs Neutron Star vs White Dwarf. Well, all are the remains of the supernova, but the fate of the core depends on the starting mass of the star. Both black holes and neutron stars are the product of a dying star. When a star dies, it spent all of its energy and then collapses. Their differences lies in their parent star. For the purpose of this discussion, we compare them with the mass of our sun. If a star similar to that of the sun's mass dies, it will form a white dwarf. When a dying star has a mass which is 1.5 to 5 times that of the sun, it will form a neutron star. Neutron stars spin very very rapidly, about hundreds of spins per second. And finally, when a star with a mass greater than 5 times the sun's mass undergoes supernova, the core left behind after the supernova of a supermassive star is unbelievably dense. In fact, it is so dense that it is actually swallowed up by its own gravity. A black hole is formed. A black hole has a density of about 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg per meter cube. And on the other hand, a neutron star has a density of about 3 into 10 to the power 17 kg per meter cube. Also, black hole has a high gravitational field that even light cannot escape. This is also the reason why black holes are hard to find. The physical manifestation of the objects around them can be a proof that they exist. Now, I hope that you understand the basic difference between all three of them. Now, if you want to stay updated about the space, then do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. So, that's all for this video. And thanks for watching. See you next time.